Getting on towards spring. It was time to service this thing and get it repaired for next season. And this bucket here is on my list for tonight. The bottom piece of this bucket, every year we have to re-weld it because it's cracked or bent and folded over or some of them with it. Um, here you can see all that I folded away right here last year and just bent all through here. We had to hammer it straight. Looks like that weld held, but right here in the very middle <clears throat> it always breaks because there's a big hole there where someone had put a, a two inch ball and right here where the loader arms connect it was cracked on both sides so I think we're just going to cut this out and I have this perfect piece of metal over here to use it's something we bought a while ago and it got all rusty but we just holding on to it and I think this is the perfect use for it I went and made this contraption here. Uh, just two pieces of a half inch plate with some eighth inch strapping welded into it. And got these nuts and bolts here to kind of give it a, well, it, it's not a very tight, but I don't think we're have to worry about that too much. Weld these on top. And these two on the bottom, I meant more or less. Can you go on the other side and open it up for me? Alright, so here are these two washers that are loose here. I meant for the plate to press up against and that gives me the two and a half inches I need from here to here. And I gave it about a, a quarter inch spacing in between uh, the two eighth inch pieces and that makes a pretty good bend and that bend is so we can overlap the two pieces of steel and uh, give it a good strong connection there. And here's a look at our finished product. I think that went pretty smooth. It took a little bit of time, but not too bad. As you can see, I think that is that would be pretty nice. That way there it'll give us a nice root. Or a nice uh nice groove to put a, a root weld in there. And uh we'll probably either plug weld it in a couple places. We'll drill like a half inch hole and I don't know, maybe every six inches along there. Something like that. And then we'll put another bead on the bottom side. And I think that will be plenty strong enough.
We've got our leading edge in place with some vice grips. Well, there is a little bit of a bow from all that welding, but it's a heck of a lot flatter than it was. Here's a shot of the back of the bucket. We just finished putting on the braces that were similar to what was there. And there's not that much bow in it from all the welding that we did. There's a little bit, but it's pretty minimal. Nothing compared to what we cut off. And we'll have to put this bucket outside. Then we can strip off all the hydraulics from these loader arms. Because we're going to put some plates all on this side of the arm and the other side to uh, we'll have to grind that down. But that'll strengthen up the loader arms so they won't crack like that again on us. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. We have a lot more projects planned for the future, so don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you can be notified when a new video comes out. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page where you can get all the latest up-to-date information on the farm. Some content can only be found on Facebook, so don't miss out, and we'll see you next time.